Welcome back, everyone, to Fine Music, where you will always hear four different points of view, at least. And it's a wonderful thing, right? Because then we want to find music, right? And we start off with our leadoff man, Fred Whitlock, for this episode 382. Fred. Well, I discovered uh, this artist, Julie Weaver. Uh, she has a new album out, Love and Constant Spectacle. She's come out of the uh, British indie scene out of Manchester. I think she was in a group that came out of there. And she's kind of folk, progressive, electronic, dream pop. And uh, some of the songs are definitely coming out with strong melodies and uh, great guitar loops going through. And the one song, the axe and the sea, almost sounds ugly. And she has another one called Perfect Storm, and which starts off the album. And you know, uh, when I heard this song, I, I that's what made me go and look up the whole album. It's a great song, and it puts all the ingredients of what she's trying to do together. And uh, it's kind of got a psychedelic sound throughout. It's ma magical and emotional. She sings about dealing with grief a lot, but it's not, she's got powerful, quiet, but powerful lyrics. And it's quite a kaleidoscope of music. It's, I liked it a lot. I, I like listening to her. So the album's called Love and Constant Spectacle. And you can find it on Bandcamp if you're having a hard time for it. The other band is no real fine. They've been around 50 years. Hawkwind, mm -hmm. 36 albums out, came out last And uh, they got a great lineup that's been around for a while with them. Dave Brock is, of course, lead. Actually, the captain and uh, it's got some great songs on it. Uh, Starship, One Love is One Life, and uh, Brocken's as music just around them. It's got uh, a key, Tim Lewis. Uh, and he's got a great guitarist, Magnus Martin. And they, they've been with them for a while now. And they're getting good reviews everywhere for the last two albums. Uh, they seem to be on old. It's 13 very interesting songs. And the instrumentals are well worth listening to. And uh, there's another rocking song, The Tracker. It almost starts out like a moody blues song and then goes into. Um, so they're back into the space rock scene and clearly at the top of their game after all these years, Dave Brock's like 90, 83 years old and uh, still rocking. Uh, great guitar work, like I said. Underworld City has a hypnotic baseline and synthesizers just whirling around and now it's vintage Hawkwind. It's great. And uh, ends with a song, a dreamy song called The Night Sky. I believe that all the, actually the end of the song is Stargazer. It's an instrumental that winds down the album. But after all these years, back on top. Cool. All right, thank you, Fred. 